And uh, welcome back to Saturday Sports Special. President of the Intersecondary Schools of Sports Association, Keith Wellington, has rubbished claims from Manchester High School principal Jasper Gabriel of favoritism in the zoning for the second round of the Lacosta Cup competition. Garfield Jones tells us more. Get the facts right. That's the assertion of the president of ISA, Keith Wellington, as he addressed the concerns of Manchester High Principal Jasford Gabriel, who had some questions and concerns about the second round assignments for the ISA da Costa Cup competition. On Friday, Gabriel implied that there was favoritism towards St. Elizabeth Technical regarding the number of home games they would play in the second round. However, Wellington was quick to distance himself from the placement of the school that he leads. That I, Keith Wellington, or any president at all of ISA, does not interfere in scheduling. We provide guidelines, so for example, dates for competition, policies regarding, for example, how it is that we should structure the competition. But in terms of the actual fixtures, we have nothing to do with it. And in this case, the schedule was created and published from August this year. We have a policy that once we have created the schedule and we've asked for feedback and gotten feedback or not, feedback, got, not gotten the feedback, once it's final, we do not interfere with the fixtures because we do not want to be accused of favoring any team or fixing any particular game. According to Wellington, with the fixtures already established in August, there was no way it could have been skewed towards Stets or against Manchester High. So if you look at the schedule, you will recognize that from as early as August, it was pointed out that if this team wins this zone, then they will go in this next group and so on, who will play at home and so on. So my concern, as I said, is not necessarily to address the concerns raised by Mr. Gabriel. I think that is the responsibility of the commissions officer and the chairman. But I'm very concerned about the motive that he has attached to whatever exists. And, you know, I want to probably just use two or three examples to point out that there could really be no motive or any intent to have set this for states. So you look at the fixtures and you realize that if this particular fixture was used for the last 15 years, neither states nor Manchester would have found themselves in this particular position, right? Wellington says he's disappointed in how Gabriel handled the concerns that he had. So I, I'm really not pleased that he has gone about discussing his concerns this way. I, I, I feel that he should raise the concern if he has it, but there's a, there's a, a defined mood that we would expect him to, 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 to follow. In this particular case, he has raised the concern after, well, he has brought the concern to the public after the game was played, so we, it could not have been addressed to fix the game using the method that he's using now. Right, and I'm really, I'm really not pleased that what has come out has sought to question the integrity of not just the president, but the competition's officer, the competition's chairman. Meanwhile, competition's officer at ISA, Ewan Scott, also fired back at the accusations of Gabriel while defending the integrity of the competition's arm of the governing body for local high school sports. Nothing was cooked up. I would never stand around and, and, and um, cook up anything for any school to benefit. I can give you an example. I get cussing from Glenmuir. So therefore, and because I'm not here to set the schedule, ISA did not employ me to set the schedule to suit a Stets, a Glenmuir, or any, or any school. We draw the fixtures. The fixtures is shared from early in the season. So therefore, persons can look at permutations and say, hey, where will I fit in? So at that stage, we gave teams options to give feedback. We never got feedback. So at this stage, it would be unfair now to change the schedule to fit any one school. Stets drew one all with Garvey Massey at home on Saturday as action in the round of 16 got underway. Garfield Jones for TVJ Sports.